These are humongous. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Early in the morning, rising to a street. We can't play this one thing, it's about that one part. We'll edit it. this hot water we've iced this down we've boiled this and poured it into the cup and this of course is room temperature what we're going to do now is we're going to put three drops of blue food coloring in each one of these and see which one is the most conducive to diffusion all right there we go one two three one two three one two three testing and we're just going to watch it happen now as you can see, the hot boiling water is kind of doing weird things with the blue kind of diffusion around because the molecules are moving fast. That room temperature water is doing pretty good too, but that cold water is just kind of taking in a long while to settle and get around because the molecules are severely slow. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to cut and we're going to come back and we're going to see how long it takes for each one of them to diffuse. I would say that the hot water is already completely uh, in equilibrium there and we'll come back and tell you what happens with the other two. Okay? There we go. You want to? No. Hot water. Room temperature. Cold water. Hello to you. Uh, I'm trying to say I'm number one. I think that's good. Leave it alone. Leave her alone. <laughs> okay, after about 10 minutes, we see that, of course, the hot water is still diffused, but that room temperature water has gone ahead and diffused itself all the way out. And, of course, the uh, cold water is still kind of dinking around, not, not doing much yet. But it's what, dinking what? around. Yeah. We put a, a cup of cold water, or a cup of water in each of these so it would be uh, even in all of them. So uh, we'll wait and see how long it takes for that cold water to go ahead and diffuse right on out of there. Done with the centrioles, Katie. After waiting a total of 35 minutes, the cold water has finally diffused all the way out. And uh, so we saw that the first one took about 10 minutes, or the, the hot water took practically no time at all. I would say probably a minute and a half, two minutes it was diffused. The room temperature water took about 10 minutes and the other one took about 35 minutes. So uh, I guess what that shows us is that uh, the faster the molecules are moving, the faster it's going to diffuse out and uh, that's the way it works in the cell. It moves from a concentration of uh, uh, the higher concentration to a low concentration. That's why when we put the drops in the water, it moved from where the drops were concentrated to where there were no drops. And so that's how diffusion happens, high concentration to low concentration. All right, this is the model of our cell. The big snowball or ho-ho or whatever it is is our nucleus. You zoom in, we're right on in there. You can see there's a skittle. skittle. And that is our uh, nucleolus. And there is some uh, chromatin floating around in there, too. That's the uh, dark spot, dark stuff there. Okay, come around. This wonderful macaroni with chiclets in it is our rough ER. Chiclets are, of course, ribosomes. Back towards the back, there's some smooth ER with no ribosomes. That lasagna rolled up right there is our Golgi apparatus those green M&M's and 
that green, up yeah, there is green jelly bean, is our mitochondria. mitochondria. The black jelly beans are our lysosomes. lysosomes. The raisins are vacuoles. There are several of those around. Those right there, those uh, licorice sticks cut in right angles, are our uh, centrioles. All right, now if you're going to go back on up, you're going to see that this right here, this little bubble, is our vesicle. And it's forming out of the cell wall. And of course, the purple icing is our cytoplasm. And the licorice strings right back there is our cilia. Now, have I forgotten anything? Cell membrane. Cell membrane, of course, the crust. Ooh, okay. Interphase. All right, we got a little song for interphase. It goes That's like this. Dear sir, or oh, madam, do you realize that my chromosomes aren't organized? I'm an interphase and my chromatin is just floating around in the middle of my nucleoplasm. Nucleoplasm! Okay, that's all. Uh, what we got in the interphase is uh, not much is happening. You don't see the chromosomes uh, formed yet, like it says in the song. The chromatin is floating around in the middle of the nucleus, and uh, you might begin to see a few signs of the chromosomes coming together. But what it is basically is just the uh, the time in between uh, when cells divide and when they start to divide again. So that right there is interphase. To prophase, and we wrote a little song about prophase. Here it goes. We've only just begun to form. We'll soon be chromosomes. We'll make a new cell and start to grow. Okay, that's all. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to let uh, Katie tell us a little bit about no, Katie's recording. Okay, well then, I'll tell you a little bit about prophase. Prophase is when the nuclear envelope starts to disappear and uh, the nucleolus, which is like the center of the nucleus, is disappearing. And spindle fibers are appearing. And the chromosomes are condensed and duplicated. Okay, so that's what happens in prophase. Okay, stop. All right. Now we're going to talk about metaphase. Now we're going to talk about metaphase. And first we've got a little song that we wrote just for you about metaphase. Here it goes. In the middle of a cell, <laughs> it's <laughs> you divide, you divide all the chromosomes. They can come untied, now they're all together. All the spindle apparatus is fully formed, centrioles are at the poles, chromosomes are lined up at the equator, Cut. as in the middle. Alright, now we're talking about anaphase. Here's a little song <coughs> that we have for anaphase. Here's a song. Somewhere over there, attached to centrioles, I have an identical chromosome, but we're at different poles. Somewhere over there, so this anaphase. Spindle apparatus is el elongated. Daughter chromosomes are moving toward the poles. 
Is that it? Mm-hmm. They have made new chromosomes, copies of themselves, and the spindle fibers pull them clear the heck across that cell, and they have kind of a showdown where they just look at each other before they end up separating. We're talking about telephase, man. And here we go. We're going to sing a little song about telephase. By myself, by my anaphase, hello telephase, I think you're breaking my heart. By myself, by my chromosomes, hello brand new homes, I think we're breaking apart. I think we're breaking apart. All right, Mark. Telephase. Telephase. Nuclear envelope is reappearing. The nucleolus is reappearing. Spindle apparatus is disappearing. Furrowing is dividing the cytoplasm. And that's all? Telephase is when it all happens. It all... Everything falls apart. See, the telophase is when the, the little cell plate, which marks point to right there on there, it uh, comes together and it, uh, well, you got two new cells. Everything's all done and the chromosomes begin to turn back into chromatin and just float around and, and it's all good. So, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. This is Adam, Katie, Levi, Mark, and Tara. Tara, and Emily signing off now. Here we come, walking down the street. We get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, we're the monkeys, and people say we monkey around. But we're too busy singing to put anybody down. We go wherever we want to, do what we like to do. We don't want the time to get restless There's always something new Hey, we're the monkeys And people say we monkey around But we're too busy singing To put anybody down We're just trying to be friendly Come and watch us sing and play We're the young generation And we've got something to say Look over your shoulder Guess who'll be standing there Hey, hey, we're the monkeys And people say we monkey around But we're too busy singing To put anybody